I don't have all the money, but I will give a sacrificial offering. My salary is small, I will still pay my tithe. That's what it means to sow in tears. I don't have all the money for whatever, but I have some strength and some energy. I have some skills. I give it to God. That's what it means to sow in tears. May you reap in joy. I say, may you reap in joy. I say, may you reap in joy. I say, may you reap in joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 6 and the last, it says, He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Now, of course, this means all kinds of sowing of seed, sowing the seed of your time, sowing the seed of your talent, sowing the seed, you know, of your treasures. All of that is included. But I want to draw your attention to the kind of seed that this scripture is really talking about. He said, he that goeth forth and weepeth, Praise the name of the Lord. I mean, if a farmer is going to just sow seed, he's not going there weeping. But there is a kind of seed you go and you go to sow that seed weeping. It is when you're going to sow the seed of the word of God, you go weeping for those who need to hear the word of God who have not had the word of God, who have not understood the word of God. You are weeping for the lost generation. You are weeping for the lost souls. You are weeping for those who are on their way to hellfire. Brethren, listen to me. The soul that sin it, it shall do what? It shall die. So when you go out for evangelism, when you go to meet your parents and to share the gospel with them, when you go to meet your siblings to share the gospel with them, when you go to meet your relatives, it's as if you're going weeping. Because, you know, if I fail, these people, it may be the last time I will speak to them and after I may hear terrible news about them, that will not be their portion in the name of Jesus. I thought somebody would say a better amen. So you carry the seed of the word of God and you're going you know, to sow that seed and you are weeping in your heart. Say, oh my God, don't let me fail. Let, this, let, the, let the word of God find a fatal ground in their heart. Are you listening to me? Let this one receive the engrafted word of God with meekness. Let them turn to Jesus Christ as I speak this word. That is, you're going bearing that seed, doing what the Bible says, weeping. The Bible calls it precious seed. The problem with many believers is that we don't even bear the precious seed at all. No evangelism. We don't even tell anybody about Jesus Christ. Not to talk of our heart breaking that people around us are dying and going to hell. It doesn't move us. We live in a compound where we know that everybody in that compound, they are unbelievers. They live unbelieving lives. We know that there is nothing moves us. We cannot even wake up in the night and pray for a few minutes and say, Lord, save everybody in my compound. Save everybody in my compound. Save everybody in my family. God forbid that you'll be the only one in your family that will make heaven. You're going to be very lonely there and your life will be full of regret. Because the Bible talked about that rich man who died and went to hell and was crying, Father Abraham, send Lazarus from the dead to go and preach to my brother so that they will not come to this torment. So you have to cry to God. You have to pray. That's what it means. He said, he that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed. That seed is the seed of the word of God. Bible says, shall doubtless, without doubt, come again with rejoicing. Because the Bible says there is joy in heaven upon the repentance of one soul. So when you go out on evangelism, and in the course of evangelism, you find people who surrender their life to Christ, you can begin to rejoice with the angels in heaven. Because the Bible says there is joy in heaven. Scripture says bringing sheaves with him. Bringing souls into the kingdom. I pray today that the almighty God will bring us to that place where we will be bearing precious seed. Each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, can I hear you say amen? amen. Uh -uh. I say if you believe that, can I hear you say amen? amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So, brethren, you know, we, we have spent the whole of today to give our young people a chance to demonstrate what is in the inside of them. Can I announce to you that everybody here is loaded with talents? Everybody here is loaded with talent. There is a gift of God in the inside of you. Don't let that gift lie dormant. Do whatever you can 
to bring out the gift of God that is in you. The Bible says, do not neglect the gift of God that is in you, that has come upon you by the laying hands of the apostles. So I want to challenge everybody. There's anything that God has put in you. There's a gifting of God. There's a calling of God upon your life. I want to let you know that we believe in your destiny. I thought somebody would have said amen. amen. We believe in your glorious destiny. The world has not seen you yet. The world has not had you yet. There is a stage that God is preparing for you to perform. And you will perform on that stage in the name of Jesus. I say you will perform on that stage in the name of Jesus. The devil can, if the devil likes, let him hit his head ten times on the ground. But as long as you're a member of this great house, as long as you're a member of the fruitful vine, I can announce to you without any doubt whatsoever, you are rising up. I say you are mounting up with wings like eagle. You are getting to the higher place. You shall be celebrated at this time and in this generation. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have not seen anything yet. The level you are now is the lowest level you can ever be. From where you are now, you are going to be breaking out on every side. Starting from today, you will begin to hear the voice of God speaking into your ears saying, my son, my daughter, this is the way. Walk down in it. That thing you are waiting to do tomorrow, begin to do it today. That thing you're thinking of doing next year, begin to do it this year. I said that thing you're thinking of doing two years from now, right now by the grace of God and by the anointing of God that is coming upon you as I speak now, jump on your feet and begin to receive it. I speak into your destiny. You are a city that is set on a hill. You cannot be hidden. I say you are the salt of this earth. You cannot lose your test. You are not at the backside of the wilderness. God is bringing you from the back to the front. My God is raising you from down to up. In the mighty name of Jesus, what others call impossible, with God on your side, with the spirit of God in the inside of you, it shall be possible. You are breaking new grounds. You are taking new territories. You are conquering new industries. I said, somebody here, listen to me. My God is going to help you. What people have not done before in your family, you'll be the first to do it. I thought somebody would have said amen. I thought somebody would have said amen. What nobody has attempted before in your hometown, you will attempt it in the mighty name of Jesus. What nobody has done before in this nation, you will do it in the name of Jesus. This generation will hear your voice. I said this generation will hear your voice. This generation will hear your testimony. You're breaking out on every side. No man can put you under. No man can limit you. That glass ceiling they put over your head today, by the anointing of God, I shatter that glass ceiling in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree into your life, you are rising. I say you are rising. I say you are rising. I say you are rising. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands to the heavens. Why don't you go ahead and speak to God and say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. My season is changing. My season is changing. My life is changing. My time has come. My time has come to be celebrated. And so before I leave, I want to pray for anyone and everyone who is saying, my season of change must start today. I'd like you to approach this altar with reverence. You're just coming and saying to God, my season of change, it must start today. Everything I have been procrastinating, postponing till tomorrow, after this service this week, I'm going to begin to do it. I'm going to begin to attempt it. I have the unction of God from the altar of God. I'm receiving power from the altar of God to go from here and begin to manifest. To go from here and begin to excel. I'm receiving power from the altar of my God to go and conquer territories. To bear the precious seed of the word. Why don't you spend a minute and speak to God? I don't know which territory you want to take. I don't know which mountain you want to take. I don't know which land you want to conquer. I don't know which area you want to go and assume authority. Why don't you speak to God and say my life will never be the same. Every resources I need. Every wisdom I need. Every understanding I need. Father to excel. To mount up with wings as ego. Lord I receive it today. I'm breaking out on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father not by power. Father not by might. 
but by the spirit of my God, as I rise from this altar, my father, my God, I'm taking lands, I'm taking grounds, I'm taking territories, in the mighty name of Jesus, when God turns around the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed, go ahead and speak to God, Lord, my captivity you're turning around today, my limitation you're turning around today, my frustration you're turning around today, my pain you're turning around today, my weakness you're turning around today, after day to day, my God, in shed of days with you on my inside. The Bible says, greater is you that is in me than he that is in the world. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called according to purpose. I shall weep no more. Lord, I shall weep no more. Lord, I shall weep no more. I will begin to laugh according to your word. You will fill my mouth with laughter. You will fill my heart with joy. You will fill my spirit with excitement. Go ahead and confess it. Go ahead and declare it. Go ahead and confess it. Go ahead and declare it. I am no more where I used to be. I am no more the man I used to be. I am no more the woman I used to be. I am a changed man. I am a changed woman. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Go ahead and speak it in the name of Jesus. I am not the same again. Lord, my season is changing. Lord, my life is changing. Lord, my situation is changing. Everything about me is changing. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am mounting up with wings as you go. I am breaking out on every side. Lord, my needs are met. I am a prosperous man. I am a flourishing man. I have my divine supply in the mighty name of Jesus for my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus what people say is impossible I'm going to do it this week I'm going to attempt it this week I will write that application I will apply for that job I will meet that man I will go that place I will demand my own I will demand my own open your mouth and speak to God open your mouth and speak to God my time at this level has expired. You are not praying. Open your mouth and speak to my God. My time at this level has expired. After today, I am moving forward. I'm pushing on. I am moving on. I am pushing on. I'm breaking grounds. I'm breaking territory. I'm conquering lands. I'm conquering nations. I'm taking mountains in the mighty name of Jesus. Not by power. Not by might. But by the Spirit of God. With the anointing of God upon my life. I cannot fail. I I cannot be limited. I cannot be stopped. No witches and wizards can stop me. No principalities and powers can stop me. In the mighty name of Jesus, when I appear, my enemies will bow down. When I show, they will scatter. Though they gather against me one way, they will scatter in seven ways. I'm not hearing you praying. Pray to the almighty God. Lord, I'm breaking through. Lord, I'm breaking out. Lord, I'm breaking through. Lord, I'm breaking out. I am unstoppable. My mind is alert. My spirit is in charge. My mind is made up. My body is healthy. I have sanity of mind. I have acuity of mind. <coughs> In the name of Jesus, I am intelligent. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a leader and not a follower. I am in charge. Open your mouth and speak to the Almighty God. When I pray, my God answers me. My God answers me by fire. My God answers me by power. My God answers me by the anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, lift your voice and speak to the Almighty God. Lord, I go into a covenant with you. A covenant of life, a covenant of righteousness, a covenant of holiness, a covenant of purity, a covenant of power. My Father, my God, I will not defy my mind, I will not defy my body, I will not defy this temple in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I will serve you in spirit and in truth. My season of change has come. My season of change has come. My season of change has come. I'm taking this mountain. I'm taking this territory. I'm taking this business. I'm taking over Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh, in your mighty way. Jehovah, in your mighty way, you are God. In your mighty way, Jehovah, 
In your mighty way, you are. In your mighty way, I found Omega. In your mighty way, you are. In your mighty way, omnipotent. In your mighty way, you are God. Lord, I pray for all these, your children who have stepped up into this arena of power. And I ask of you, my Father and my God, that today, everyone without fear will enter into their season of change. Whether the devil like it or yes, your season of change has begun. I say it has begun. I say it has begun. All the harassment you have seen up until now, all the Egyptians you have seen up until now, you shall see them no more. Yes. I say you shall see them no more. Yes. And so I commit and commend you unto the care of God that at this time and at this season you shall celebrate in the mighty name of Jesus. And so it shall be in the name of God the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now put your hand on your head and say, I believe it and I receive it. I it and I receive it. Your two hands on your head and say, I believe. As you return to your seats, just make that confession. Make that confession. I believe it and I receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are Testify, you are able. How many of you believe that? That God is able. I God is able. By your word, Lord, I stand and I testify that you. 